look at this view, we're going uphill right now. That's why we're going so slow. It's a very heavy train and there is only one lock pudding. Very different Morocco. Suddenly it's all green, grass everywhere, trees, fields. Because we're coming closer to the sea. A lot of cows also back in the desert. We're mostly goats, not a lot of cows because there isn't a lot of grass to eat. It's refreshing, it's a change of scenery. It's cool to see. Uh, if you see these hills, that's this, that's phosphate, that's the terminal, so uh, we have to get off somewhere here, but over there is a level crossing with a guard, so we can't jump now. That's like an OCP uh, property, it's uh, the biggest uh, company of Morocco, and I saw their other facilities, it's heavily guarded, they have like private security, everything, so don't want to end up there, so... As soon as we pass this guard, we really have to uh, start looking for a spot to get off the train. Dude, my backpack is just gone. Oh, look at this. Wow. Oh, there's Sadimant, there's Sadimant. Shit. Yeah. What an amazing ride, look where we are, behind the hills, there is the sea, but over there is the guard, so we're walking the opposite way now, and then, I don't know, we're just gonna like, just go around as far away from the terminal as possible, and then just, yeah, figure a way out to the sea, but holy shit, we made it, we fucking made it, all the way to the sea, so sick, this is it man, ah, oh, wow. Amazing.
these waves. Now I know why this is a good surf city. Actually this entire coast has a lot of good surf beaches. Next uh, city is Azuera I think. And then Agadir. All very good surf spots. These waves are uh, giant. Finally. Oh. Look at this. Beautiful. Probably gonna get splashed here. I don't even care. right there smells so fucking bad it smells like a chemical plant on this beach well I mean the smell comes from there so obvious we're not uh, gonna stay here we're gonna go to the to the to the city right there to Safi and yeah tomorrow or the day after I really want to go to Asuera or some other like really nice beach to just like chill for the rest of my time here. Wow. Wow. Alright, uh, we're heading to the city now. No buses or anything. But this is how we do it. Just hitch the ride on a truck. <laughs> Fucking nice. So yeah, this entire plant is uh, owned by OCP, it's uh, the phosphate company, it's also the most profitable company in Morocco. These guys are really bringing uh, money into the country. But even though this company makes billions and billions a year, there were still like 10 employees outside hitchhiking to go back to the city. Suera now. It's a very nice city. The main streets suck. So many people just trying to guess where you're from and trying to sell you something and so much fucking tourists. First time actually seeing white people uh, this trip. But when you go into the back streets where it's more calm and easy, it's really nice. Reminds me of Italy a bit. These houses. It's cool. It's a beautiful place. There's also a city at the coast. I'm uh, heading to the sea now. Oh, the, the beautiful sea. And the beautiful beach. <laughs> this journey, man, really was an experience. <laughs> Holy shit. I never felt so out of place in the country. Which is normal, you know. I'm a white guy walking around in like Moroccan villages where normally no tourists come. It's such a different way of traveling. It wasn't easy. It was also very exhausting. Don't think I ever had such an exhausting journey. But also like the hospitality of these people and how welcoming they were. It's, it's unseen, it's crazy. It's pretty rare these days. I really love it. On the other side, traveling with a backpack, like traveling like we do, just it's really, really uncommon here. We really had to explain uh, that we were sleeping outside just because that's what we do, you know? Here, when people sleep outside, it's because they have no money or no house and they're like, no, it's not.